What does that button do? What's up guys? Welcome to the second episode of RJ's Novo Build. I'm heading to Novo now um, to get this build started. I guess today we're gonna go pick out some body woods, but it's a beautiful day again, and I'm ready to get this guitar started. I'm excited, let's do this, let's get out of here. my hair first man just put on a hat like i do uh you know you have a beautiful head of hair well the amount of people that are asking me how they can get boner flame on their guitar <laughs> we made it a thing i realized thing. how popular rj is you i think people just thing. like to say the word boner <clears throat> well we're gonna make t-shirts right let's say boner flame, boner flame. Okay, you might order a neck and you might get a little flame and then yes it's just that's a little nothing i can charge for so is this like a that's chargeable flame is this chargeable flame? Yes, it is. Is anything boner flame? Yeah. This, uh, this? Like if you look at that one, like see how that one's got a little bit going on here? That's like okay. a little bonus flame in there. So some of them do. Like this, this? one, de definitely bonus, right? See okay. how it's like uh, showing it's off. not like it's not like super. Yeah, it's just got a little. Okay. It's got character to it. You can see it right there. See yeah. a little bit of that. That, that flame right there, look at that baby. Oh, yeah. Can I upgrade it to like- Regular flame? Ordered flame. Ordered flame, actual yeah. flame. Double boner flame? I need more flame. Extra flame, heavy flame. Heavy on the flame. Heavy on the That's what this vlog is all about. It's about wooden boners and, and wooden boners. Wooden boners. <laughs> Can't send this one to my mom. No. Um, we're gonna go pick out some wood. Do, say hi guys. Hey! hey! They're cleaning the bathroom, it's Friday. Oh, yay! <laughs> These, these ones just came in that we just cut. This stack right here, it would be really great for uh, your build. Okay. We're doing a Saris J. Okay. And when we're doing a Saris J, we know sort of what the target weight's gonna be, and we know that a mastery bridge and trim is heavy, right? Yeah. So we know it's gonna add weight to it, so we try to pick the blank that's gonna be a little bit lower. Okay. As far as weight goes on purpose, save some of the heavier ones for tees that are just getting telly bridge, which is a lot lighter. Um, that way we can kind of figure out what the target weight's going to be uh, towards the end. Okay. I like to get the lightest guitars yes. now. Yes. Because I'm old and my back can't mm -hmm. take it. So we want to make sure we keep it about under four and a half on a J build. Okay. And then if we're under four and a half, we're talking about seven, seven and a half pounds for the finished guitar. Okay. Which is great. Let's so, pull out the 4.1. No, don't even go there. What? It's uh, what? 4.4? Too heavy? Yeah. It's go so it's so light. Let me All just right. see the 4.1. All right. Let's take a look here. Let's see, where's that 4.1? Now, 4.1's got a little a little guy right there, so that's, that's interesting. interesting. So on this one right here, it's actually a little bit tighter than that, so we can see what happens when we cut this off to shape. Okay. That's actually gonna be in play, but it probably will be, and we'll have to deal with it can somehow. I just feel yeah, the, yeah, yeah, uh, but feel how light that is. It's so weird to feel a, a body that's just the, the rough cutout. Isn't because it, you're gonna shave off more wood, so it's gonna be lighter. It's right? gonna be lighter, yes. This is just the starting point. So how much do you think the top the grain is gonna be into play with my So beam? that's a great question. So since you're doing a solid finish, we don't have to go crazy as far as picking out the perfect looking wood. Right. But we always want to look at the grain because all our finishes are super light and you're always gonna see the grain, bit. especially with the distress. So we want to make pick something that you're into, right? Okay. So like on something like this one right here, it's a very straight grain, right? Standard, yeah. Not very interesting, but some people want something that's just very smooth and kind of not plain looking, but it you know doesn't have a lot of you know interesting stuff like we normally do. So then you can look at a piece like this. You already start seeing some cool spots here. You can see this, some lines right here. Yeah. And something like this when we. When we sand it, we're raising the grain when we sand our stuff. How secret, we are not showing you how we do it. Okay. They don't even tell me how to do it, so I won't tell anybody. That's the special sauce. That's how we do it. Here's another one that's I gonna like have- that. Look at this right here. 420, good weight. Oh yeah. 
Um, and you can see you got some interesting knots going on here. There's another one that's got some interesting lines to it. So on something like this, when Dennis does a distress, you can make it look kind of that window blinds kind of look to it, which uh -huh. is always super cool. I like this one. Put that. Put that. All right, we've got a, we've got a, a candidate. Pile. This <laughs> oh, oh shoot! Sorry, a lot of dust. This one's cool too. We got a nice look into it. Oh man! Nice. Should we set two aside and have a vote? Interactive. Instagram I like Instagram vote. I, I kind of just grabbed like the bodies that just kind of jumped out. It's not like I got tons of wood and we're like, yeah. we have to dig through what we're actually gonna use. The mills that we get this sent to is our, our guys that we work with. Right. They know what we want, so they send us stuff that we really like. They send us stuff at the right weight. So, you know, it's pretty easy to pick something out. If we're gonna have good stuff, is the only, it's really the only stuff I have on the shelf. These were all bodies that were too heavy and then we've got, we cut them out and use them to pop. So like, when you start getting into that five, five and a half range, those are ones that you wanna hog out and do as chambered guitars. Can I just feel? Yeah, the feel the difference, yeah. You can tell oh, right away. Shit. I mean, that's a, a full pound. Oh my God. But the cool part about it is a lot of the heavy ones, look at that, I mean, that's yeah. gonna be gorgeous. So we'll slice that off and use it as the top for the mirrors. This one's heavy, look at that it one. Is. Six pounds. Six pound, one ounce baby boy. That's a gorgeous piece. I think I picked my body. Beautiful specimen, tempered pine. Yeah. yeah Wonderful, yeah, yeah. nice lightweight. Look at that. You gotta name that knot. Like Skippy the knot or something like that. <laughs> Holy McHole face. RJ. Yeah. Would you like to pick some neck wood out too today? I would love to pick some neck wood out today. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's take a look at some of these right That is real flame, or is that bonus flame? This is real flame. Look at that. Look at that. You that's see that? Hot. Isn't that nice? Once it's oiled or finished. Oh yeah, that's when it's, That's when it pops up. That's right? when it pops. So there's, here's regular. Just regular, you know. Still really nice, look at that. Very nice. Got some interesting grain right there. We're gonna be checking to make sure that uh, there's no cracks running through these things. All now the this wood is? This is tempered maple. And do you temper it here or someone no. tempers it for you? We'd love to do that ourselves, but that's a highly specialized process. So we get a mill to do it for us. I'm dumb when it comes to wood yes. stuff. What goes on when you temper? Once it's logged, you wanna, it's cooking it so you can get as much moisture out of it as possible. So it's actually going in there and getting cooked. That's why you can see it's got a much darker, like kind of amber color than a normal piece of like white maple would be. We say that um, word again. <laughs> amber. Oh. And the idea behind that is, is that you know people like old guitars. They like old guitars because they've been out in the world and they've aged and they've dried out a little bit as over the years. We're trying to get as far to that as possible before we even make the guitar. You learn something new every day. And since I've never really seen the raw flame yeah. maple, yes, is this going to be like? Totally vibrant. Okay, so people use the designations 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A. Okay, what would These that are, be? This is gonna be like a 3A right here. Okay. Which is good. That's good. 3A is enough to get me, uh. You know, you know, bow it. Look, I mean, that's. That's got you a little flame, flame in it, and then you, you get, get the figure. It's like a topographical map. Yeah. This is cool. Okay. I like this one. This one's real interesting. Yeah, I think that's the most interesting looking one. This is Steven, by the way. Hey, Steven. Steven's our shop manager. You can do a little karate kid, too. Don't break this. If we're feeling, no, we don't want to do that. What else do we want to talk about? Yeah, the fingerboard. The fingerboard. I want to pick all the wood today, just so it's done. Ooh, these are the good ones. Ooh, that almost looks purple. Yeah, that's cool. I've never picked out a fingerboard or I mean, I, you know, they're all beautiful. Ooh, I like that, uh, that one. This guy right here? It's something that I never noticed, but like, yeah, that's, East, that's pretty. East Indian Rosewood, shout out to CITES, filling out paperwork to ship overseas. That's right. That's but legal stuff, right? Huge. This is all legal. We have paperwork for everything. I kind of like that one. That's I mean, great. look at that, nice and clean. Put it on there. Oh, that's it. That's a guitar. Okay. I just made a guitar. I mean, as long as my hair looks nice, you might have to repeat. Are we good? I mean, you see my bald spot? Oh, who cuts your hair? I guess shout out to Chelsea over at uh, at the hideout over uh, in East Nashville. So now do you keep this locked in a safe for me or how does this work? Do you just like lock it up so we, Red Shell doesn't touch it? We, Red will be here next week and I promise you I will hide this stuff from him. You better. Because he's going to take one look at that neck plank and start sniffing around. I'm telling I you. might just like carve my name into the should, we, should we do that right now? Should we put your name on these? Let's yes. get a, let's get some blue tape. Let's make it legit. Let's
right, so we just picked out wood. So, Matthew, it'll be done next week. Wow, then, okay. Or, um, maybe a little bit longer. Okay, yeah, like but, two weeks from today, then? Yeah, four weeks. Shut up, really? You know, usually after we pick out the wood, it's about six weeks. Six yeah. weeks? Yeah, because once- Damn, that's fast. Yeah, well, you know, the finishing part of it is really great because it dries really quickly because we're not, uh, you know, taking on that finish, so. That part of it goes really quick. Step. What's the next step? Well, the next step is we're gonna we're gonna run the body on the CNC. To cut out the shape of it. Okay. That's the big expensive machine. And then we're gonna make the neck. CNC it out for the truss rod, glue that uh, fretboard on there, cut out the perimeter, and then run that on the CNC. I'll be back for that. Thank you, Matthew. What did we do? We picked out uh, wood today. Picked out wood, I shot some B-roll, played some cool guitars. We'll see you later, dude. Have a good weekend. Yeah, man. Catch you later, man. Have a good weekend. That was a cool productive day. Really excited about this build. I think the woods that I picked out are perfect. Got that nice flame on the uh, the neck. It's the first time I actually got a chance to like see the raw wood before everything is is cut and sanded and, and uh, put on the guitar, so. And I'm sure I'll be learning more about the guitar making process in videos to come. I guess I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna go and uh, eat some lunch. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, tour vlogs or guitar lesson videos, click that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.